Well, I'm sure Tara's going to do amazing things inside. She always does. But I've never heard anyone say, geez, that house has got great lounge room appeal. It's always street appeal. What you do out here can transform your house. So I'm going to show you the tips and tricks so you can make your dollar go further when you do it at your place. A white picket fence will go around the boundary. We'll have trees for height and a hedge for privacy. And I'm going to build a big wide path with a water feature in the middle. Now Tara's going for a modern country theme inside, so I want to do the same outside. The hedges, the trees, the picket fence, tick, tick, tick. When it comes to paving, I'm going for a charcoal. It's going to complement what we've painted the house perfectly, and I'm going for large format. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they put in their front path is they don't make it wide enough. You need it to be at least 1.2 metres, so two people can walk next to each other. You don't want to come to the front door in single file and you need to put it on a good solid bed. Now this is washed river sand. And when you look at it, it's all sand grains, but there's no clay and it's all different sizes. So when you compact it, it stays compacted. Now mate, I know you're my best friend, but how many times have I told you? Don't walk on the sand. Don't you walk away from me. Now, I'm using a couple of different size pavers. There's 400 by 400s for all the inlay and 400 by 200s on the outside as the header course. Now, the best thing about this is we've laid it on the 45. I call it a diamond pattern. You end up with all these triangles running down the side. Now, there's a few cuts, but it's nice and easy. But it looks highly detailed. So when your friends come over, they're going to think you got the pros in. Oh, that dog's got a good life. Sweet. Lee Coonigan's here, and I want to meet him. I mean, uh, I'll just go and get the paint, all right? Come on, Dad. Could you make it out to Jason, please? <laughs> Actually, can you do better? Can you sign my ute? You, you want me to sign your ute? Where is it? Right behind you. OK. <laughs> I'll do it. Pride of the fleet, I tell you, Lee. She's a nice-looking rig, mate. I've got a new song coming out on the next record called Ute Me. I'll send you a copy. I like it. <laughs> Fantastic. But now someone's going to pinch my tailgate. Safe travelling. That's Safe what travel. I like to say, yeah, yeah. Another 20 years of songs, please. I'll try it. Try and do it. Now, when you think about designing your garden, you've got to think about where people are going to view it from. In the case of a front yard, it's from the footpath or from the front of the house. So this water feature is front and centre. All right, now, to move the water around, we're going to put in a pump. A little pump started about 19 bucks, and go up to a couple of hundred. Now, I've got a riser, and as luck would have it, the pot that I've bought has the perfect size hole to feed that through. Now, if I turned it on, it'd fill up, and the water would spill over. But if you ever turned it off, all the water would drain out this gap around the edge. So with a little bit of need it, we can go around there and seal the whole thing watertight within about 10 minutes. Now, because it's a pump, it's going to need electricity, and I reckon water and electricity are definitely a dangerous mix. So get a licensed electrician in to give you an outside PowerPoint. A little bit more needed inside the pot, and then all we've got to do is cut this off flush with the top, and then bring on the water. Turn it on. How good is that? The good thing about this, Danny's got a permanent water source to grab a drink. The construction, very important part of landscaping, but the plants is even more important. We've got all that to look forward to. Yeah.